everyone and welcome to the Time to Cook Club Juniors and to your online class. So today we're making heart-shaped cherry filled hand pies. So hopefully if you're cooking with me today you have all of your ingredients weighed out measured and ready to go and also the equipment from the equipment list. So let's the make first thing you need to do is you need to go and ask your grown-up to preheat the oven to either gas mark 6 or 200 degrees or 180 degrees if you're using a fan oven. The reason why we need to preheat the oven is to make sure that the oven is at the perfect temperature to pop our bakes in when we're ready to cook them. The next thing you need to do is you need to line your baking tin with some non-stick baking paper. Okay, so I've just literally really roughly cut out this sheet of baking paper to approximately the same size as the bottom of the tin. You don't need to butter the tin or anything because the weight of your ham pies will weigh the paper down, okay? So once you've prepared your baking tin, you can literally just pop it to one side until we're ready to pop our pies um, onto the tin. Um, it's really important before any bake that you spend a little bit of time at the start preparing your tin because we could spend hours making the perfect bake only to realise that we can't actually get it out of the tin once it's been cooked. Okay, so today we're going to be using ready rolled puff pastry and it's a really good idea to take your puff pastry out of the fridge just a little bit before, sort of five minutes before, just to warm up to room temperature, okay? And this will help to avoid um, you getting any kind of cracks in the pastry. If you do have any cracks in your pastry when you unroll it, you can just sprinkle the pastry with just a little bit of water and then you can use your fingers to just kind of mold the crack back together again. Okay, so you need to have your puff pastry sheet out in front of you. You need to have it in a landscape position, which means that the longest edge is going to be in front of you. Now, we are aiming to make eight heart-shaped hand pies, okay? which means that we really need to make use of all the pastry that we have, okay? So we're actually going to try and um, make our pastry just a little bit bigger. We need to increase our pastry by two inches, okay? So we're just going to pop a little bit of dusting flour, sprinkle a little bit over the top of the pastry, just on the bottom bit. And what we're going to do is we're going to try and just roll our pastry out just an extra couple of inches. It's literally just an extra two inches, okay? So um, pop some more dusting flour on and this time go all the way over the pastry because you're going to try to um, get some more pastry rolled out of this sheet. So like I say, you literally need to roll an extra two inches in order to fit all eight um, hearts onto your um, sheet of pastry. So I've actually got a little template here which shows you where you're going to cut out your hearts, okay? So your pastry was 10 inches and it now needs to be 12. So you will just need to keep rolling um, until you get there. It'd be a good idea to have a ruler to really help you with this, okay? Obviously, if you don't want to make eight, that's fine. You can make um, five or six um, and you wouldn't need to really roll out your pastry. But if you want to make eight, then you need to make your pastry just a little bit bigger, okay? So keep rolling until you have rolled an extra two inches at the bottom of your um, puff pastry sheet. Welcome back guys. So hopefully by now you've added an extra two inches onto your puff pastry. So now what you'll need is either a heart-shaped cutter or the template that we've included with the recipe. And what you're going to do is you're going to start right at the top of your pastry making sure that you're using all the pastry that you can and you're going to cut out four heart shapes with the point of the heart going down, okay? Like I say, remember that we do um, want to get, if we can, possibly, um, eight of these um, lovely pies, okay? So we will have to make sure that we're using all the pastry that we have. Okay, great work, guys. So we're not actually lifting the um, hearts up from the pastry at the moment. Okay, we're literally just leaving them where they are. All right. Okay, so the next row, we're going to turn our cutter upside down and we're going to cut out 
um, three hearts in between the four hearts that we've already cut. We've included a picture on your recipe card um, of how we managed to cut out all 16 hearts because obviously we need two hearts for each hand pie. Okay, so just turn your cutter around and then, like I said, we're going to cut out um, three upside down hearts um, in between the four hearts that we've just cut out. Um, remember though, not to um, lift them up just yet, okay? Like so. If you're now going to repeat, you're going to turn your um, cutter around again and you're going to cut out four um, more hearts, okay? Like so. Again, keeping the hearts as close as you can together will really help. Okay. And then we're going to turn them around and cut out our three. Great work. Now, we've got um, 14 hearts on here and to the side of my pastry, I've actually got room to um, cut out two more hearts, okay? So I'm going to do one upside down there. On the bottom part of the pastry, I'm going to do another upside down one there. Okay, so you can follow our diagram, okay? But obviously it does depend on kind of how you've rolled out your pastry as to what areas of the pastry are going to be clear for you to cut out your heart shapes. So now you'll need your lines baking tray and you're going to very carefully um, pick up eight of the hearts, okay? You will have to be careful, especially where you've kind of rolled them out. Okay, you'll have to be careful because the pastry will, might be quite thin. Okay, so you're going to pop those ones onto your um, non-stick baking paper like so. Okay, just kind of reshape them a little bit if you need to. Great work. So just go careful because when your um, puff pastry um, has been out for a little while, which it has been now because we've been working on it for a little while, um, it will start to feel a little bit sticky, okay? Um, so you have to be really careful. We'll go slowly when you're getting off the baking paper, um, which your puff pastry came with, okay, um, in order to not have any holes in it, okay? Remember, we're popping eight onto our baking tray, and you might need to use two baking trays, okay? That's absolutely fine. Okay, so I just quickly lined a second baking tray, okay, just to give um, my heart's a little bit more space, okay? So remember, you were just lifting off eight of the hearts. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and my last one, eight. Great work guys, now what you need to do is you need to crack an egg into a cup because we need to make some egg wash to seal our hand pies, okay? So when we crack an egg, we do nice gentle taps until we've made a hole in our eggshell. We pop our thumbs in and pull the eggshells apart, leaving the egg in the cup. And once you've cracked your egg, you need to go and wash your hands if you have any raw egg on your hands at all. And what you need to do is you need to beat your egg. And this means popping your fork into your cup and wiggling it around really, really quickly so that you break up the egg yolk and mix it in with the egg white. So um, we're going to pop our fork in. We're just going to wiggle it around really, really fast until the um, egg yolk and the egg white are all mixed together. Great work, guys. Well done. Now what you need is a pastry brush. And you're literally just going to brush the egg wash all the way around the edge of the um, hearts of pastry, okay? And like I said, this is going to act as a bit like glue, I guess, to seal the um, two 
sides of pastry together and to keep in that lovely cherry filling, okay? So just keep painting just around the edges of your pastry hearts um, and then join me back here when you've done that job and I'll tell you what to do next. Okay, welcome back guys. So hopefully by now you have brushed egg wash over the edges of eight of your pastry hearts. You now need to empty a jar of cherry pie filling into a bowl, okay? Ask your grown-ups to help with this because the edge of the jar can be really sharp. And you're going to pop a dessert spoon of cherry pie filling into the middle of each of your pastry hearts. You're aiming for about three cherries in each heart, okay? Don't overfill your hearts though, because otherwise all the filling will leak out when it's cooking, okay? So just um, have a good root around um, into your cherry pie filling until you reach the cherries, okay? And like I said, you're aiming for three cherries in each heart, okay? But keep the cherries in the middle um, so that they don't go over the edge that you've just popped egg wash in. If the cherries are big though, only two, that's fine, okay? And just keep going until you have filled all eight of your um, pastry hearts, okay? Remembering though not to overfill them. Okay, welcome back guys. So hopefully by now you have filled your ham pies with cherry pie filling. So now what you'll need is a, another fork, a clean fork, okay? And what you're going to do is with the hearts that are still on the puff pastry sheet, you're going to um, pop um, a um, fork into the middle, okay, and then at a diagonal, and then another one um, going the other way. So you want like a crisscross shape right in the middle of your um, pie, okay? So what this is going to do is it's going to allow um, the steam to, um, come out of your pie, okay? And it will stop your pies from having that soggy bottom. Okay, it looks like a little kiss on top as well, which is really sweet and in keeping with the theme of our heart-shaped pies. So now what you need to do is you need to very carefully um, peel the hearts off of your um, pastry sheet, okay? And you're going to um, pop them on top of your first, um, puff pastry heart and you're going to very very gently um, seal the edges with your fingertips so um, be careful that you're not making any holes with your nails okay we're literally using the pads of our index finger to just press down really firmly um, on the edges of that pastry to seal it okay um, you want to pay particular attention to the top of the heart to this part of the heart and also to that part of the heart, the bottom of the heart, um, because um, you need to make sure that that's really well sealed, otherwise the cherry pie filling is just going to leak out, okay? So now what you're going to do is you're just going to continue to do that until you have um, popped the tops onto all eight of your um, heart-shaped hand pies and you're also um, going to seal the edges of your pies using the pads of your index fingers. So join me back here when you've done that job and I'll tell you what to do next. Hopefully by now you have um, sealed up your edges of your two pieces of puff pastry, heart-shaped puff pastry, um, with the cherry pie filling inside. So now what you're going to do is with your pastry brush, you're just going to brush um, egg over the top um, of your um, puff pastry hearts and what this will do is it will um, help to um, make your puff pastry hearts a lovely golden brown colour once they've been cooked in the oven. So just keep going until you have popped your egg wash all over the top of all of your um, pies. Um, you don't need loads on, just a quick paint uh, one coat will do. So now what you're going to do is you're going to ask your grown-ups to pop them into the oven to cook for between 12 to 15 minutes. Grown-ups, set the timer on your oven for 12 minutes and then take a look at your pies and see um, what's going on. If they're still quite pale, then you can pop them in for another couple of minutes, but if they're nice and golden brown, then you can take them out. Once you've taken them out, leave them to rest for just a couple of minutes, 
before using a cake slice or a fish slice um, to flip your pies over and then you're going to pop them back into the oven to cook for another 10 minutes and this is going to stop your pies from having that soggy bottom. And then when your pies are completely cooked, grown ups, you're going to pop the pies onto a cooling rack um, to cool down completely. So join me back here when your pies are cooled down completely and I'll tell you what to do. Next. Okay, welcome back guys. So hopefully by now your heart shaped pies have cooked and are now cooling on a cooling rack. You need to leave them upside down for a moment, okay? We're going to be making our drizzle icing. So you need to get your um, 70 grams of icing sugar and you're going to pop in two teaspoons of um, cold water and then you're going to give your icing a stir. I would suggest keeping your spoon right to the bottom of the bowl and this will stop your icing sugar from puffing up. Now if you need a little bit more water um, then just add that in a little bit at a time but remember um, to go really slow with this because it's obviously easy to add more water but difficult to take it away okay so just add in a little bit of water at a time until um, you make a really lovely glassier icing. The icing should be um, not too runny, but you should also be able to kind of drizzle it over your heart shaped pies, okay? So remember to use your spoon to scrape down the sides of the bowl. I'm also using the back of my spoon to kind of um, squash down the icing sugar onto the sides of the bowl just to make sure that um, it's not lumpy okay so mine's still quite thick it might be all right I'm just going to add the smallest amount of water it's like literally a dab and then give it another stir because a lot of water goes a long way okay and there you have your um, drizzle icing so now what you need to do is when your pies are cooled, you need to flip them back over, okay? Like I said, don't worry if they've gone flat, that's absolutely fine. And what you're going to do with your drizzle icing, you've guessed it, you're just going to drizzle it over the top of your pies like so. Okay, so I'm holding um, my spoon up quite high and that's going to give a lovely kind of drizzle effect, okay? And stop my lines from being too thick. So you're literally just drizzling um, icing, glacier icing over your pies like so. Um, it is a bit messy so you might want to pop down some nonstick baking paper on the um, wet surface that you're using but if you don't mind that's fine. Okay and just keep going until you've popped on as much or as little icing um, as you want onto your um, heart-shaped cherry filled hand pies. I think they look absolutely delicious. So you can serve this um, on its own or um, with some ice cream and maybe you want to pop on the side a little bit more of the um, cherry pie filling that you had left over. But I'm sure you'll agree that they look absolutely delicious. So thank you so much for joining me today to make our heart-shaped cherry-filled hand pies. I hope you enjoyed making them, but more importantly, I hope you enjoy eating them and sharing them with your family. Thank you so much for joining me today. That's the end of our March Spring Bakes menu. It's gone so quickly. I hope you've enjoyed it as much as I have. So next week, we'll be moving on to our April menu, which is all about the Easter treats. I cannot wait to share them with you. Take care and have a lovely week. See you soon guys, bye.